It's been a day of pomp and ceremony in Macquarie Street with the opening of the 55th New South Wales Parliament. The Governor addressed a joint sitting of both houses. MPs were sworn in and for the first time a woman MP is in charge of the bear pit. Mark Tobin reports. A brass band heralded the official opening of State Parliament. The guest of honour was the Governor. This Parliament opens with a great spirit of optimism, a spirit that such an historic opportunity for change and renewal rightly brings. In the lower house, MPs elected their first female speaker. Nothing that happens elsewhere is likely to affect my impartiality in the control of the house. The new Premier is already cracking the whip, ordering his MPs to work hard. And I say this to all of my new colleagues. Uh, put in the hours, represent your people and you will see the benefits. The former Premier now has to get used to a career on the opposition backbenches and there's been a warning that keeping government backbenches happy may be difficult for a Premier with a huge majority. I think that will create uh, problems or has the opportunity to create problems for Barry O'Farrell uh, on the basis of having such a large backbench. But it's not just coalition MPs Barry O'Farrell has to keep happy. He needs the support of cross benches in the upper house and today he rewarded one of them, Fred Nile, with a parliamentary post that will see him get an extra $25,000 a year. While today was largely ceremonial, it'll be down to business tomorrow for Parliament's first question time. Mark Tobin, ABC News.